I want to know what your biggest misconception about health and fitness is, like in, in what you've experienced in your knowledge and stuff. Yeah. My, the biggest misconception that I see with health and fitness is complexity. I don't think the fundamentals of fitness have changed for 50, 60 years, probably longer. You know, we were fitter and healthier back then when we were able to engage with the simple fundamentals of high, high nutrient dense food. Hydra- a lot of the stuff I work with my clients is just hydration, stretching and movement and then, and then some self-reflection on the mental side of it. We are so drawn to complexity and I think the fitness industry, the, the biggest um, flaw or the biggest misconception I see is that it's then if you start doing any sort of physical activity or plan or anything, it needs to be overly complex. And trainers, trainers do this as well because we do it to try and justify our job. You know, we try and make something overly complex. You're not paying for uh, information necessarily. Now, your your work is perhaps more specific because people will will be going to you for a lot of information and enlightenment about the thing they're struggling with. But for a lot of people, they're not paying for information. They're paying for implementation. It's not about making something enormously complex. It's about taking action on it and, and, and doing the consistency. That's the biggest part of a personal trainer or a coach for me. And you see it in all elements of it. We see it in supplementation. We see it in equipment. You know, Amazon and eBay are wonderful, but they are full of very, very complex machinery that you have to plug into a wall. Um, and behind that, they people are using that as an avenue to fitness. They're saying fitness lies beyond this super complex stuff from the big complex steel machinery that we used to associate with gyms 10, 15 years ago. That's when we were perhaps at the height of our mechanical complexity because all all of exercise became enormously complex. We've started to roll it back a little bit where we're now doing a lot more cycling, a lot more running. But the complexity these days now lies in nutrition. Now, I'm a big big advocate of simple calorie deficit um, and, and the different ways to achieve that. And again, if you commit hard to any avenue, not any avenue, but m- one of many avenues, you will you'll be able to achieve a calorie deficit. Now, whether you're doing fasting, intermittent fasting, whether you're doing ketogenic, slim fat, any, whatever you're doing, most of the time, what lies behind it is a calorie deficit. To be honest with you, that's so difficult for people. And, it, and it's become more complex with, with the food that's available for people as well. You, but now, do you think that that is because that is the trend? So to be more over complicated means that you are doing something better than the person that's doing something that's simplified yes I, th- I think there is a lot of that and and if you're a, an effective enough salesman you can you can brush off and dumb down what somebody else is doing because you've you've sort of bolted on lots of extra studies and lots of extra complexity again to your methodology but that from the from the trainer's perspective and from my perspective is where you just have to have the confidence in the results that you're achieving for people and continue on that plan because it allows you to to serve a lot more people with a lot more credibility rather than trying to hide it behind something that's that's really complex because you also alienate a lot of people with that complexity and it can cause we talk about mental health it can cause even more anxiety for people that fear fitness and fear nutrition because if i don't i don't get it i'm not smart enough i don't that's not me. I've never really been a very clever person. So well, there's no way I'm going to be able to work out periodization and all of these complex, or I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to buy that piece of machinery. And I think that's one of the biggest delusions for me is, is the amount of complexity we've started to bolt on to, to so many things. And fitness is terrible for it. You know, people don't need all these extra things to, to achieve a sustainable, sustainable habits of their life to keep them happier and healthier. 